What's up guys, Baker here. I am back with a very exciting tutorial. So excited, I am finally gonna do the uh, Phoenix Fire Wings tutorial. And uh, two things before I start, real quick, just go ahead and click the like button down there. Uh, really helps me out, only takes two seconds, so let's do it real quick. Ready, one, two, three, boom! All right, perfect. So that's number one, just wanna get that out of the way. All right, number two. Uh, I don't want you guys to copy this tutorial straight how I'm teaching it. Uh, it's not going to look, you know, original anymore. What I want you to learn is how I'm doing it, why I'm doing it, you know, uh, maybe build on those ideas, make something even cooler. And yeah, so watch the tutorial, have fun, but do not copy it because uh, it won't look good anymore. Anyways, let's jump in real quick. Let's do this. All right, boom. All right, so basically, so we got our clip here. Um, it's the guy running, and I want to attach some 3D, well, not real 3D, but some some like fire wings on his back, make it look real cool. All right, so the first thing you want to do is you want to look for a clip that's uh, <clears throat> you know has a lot of detail on his back because we're going to be tracking his back. So this uh, you know his shirt has a lot of detail, a lot of things that have a lot of contrast. So if you're using maybe real footage, don't use like a plain colored t-shirt or something. Uh, have some maybe stickers on your back to uh, you know track it and you can uh, edit those out later. So you gotta look for a good clip. Um, it also helps if you have a high frames per second clip because uh, you don't want things to move too fast and you'll get you know inaccurate tracking and whatnot. So this was 600 frames per second, but I uh, put it down to 59.94, so that's about you know 10 uh, tenfold slower. So very slow motion, It'll be very easy to track. Should get some nice results. So I have tracking tutorials. Go check that out if you don't know how to track. Basically, you just um, you know output some uh, picture files, PNGs or JPEGs, whatever. Go over to Buju. And what you want to do is use a poly mask, okay? Because we don't want to track anything else except his back. So you can kind of see his arm is kind of moving right here. So you want to mask, you know, that out. And basically just, you know, select his back. Track it the whole way through. Uh, don't really worry about the scene geometry or anything. You could, um, yeah, work with that, but you don't have any, you know, straight lines or faces or anything so it's kind of weird uh, just do your best to uh, track his back got plenty of tutorials go check that out I'm gonna save time by jumping back into After Effects and you import your camera shape file and now we got a 3D scene so let's build these uh, 2D 3D wings so let's go over to Google search up fire wings um, how about this first result here that looks oddly familiar. Hmm. So maybe if you want to do this, maybe search up some different looking wings, or maybe some, I don't know, ice wings, or some other, you know, I don't know what you want to attach to his back. Maybe, I don't know, a 3D model of a jetpack or something. Whatever you want. So we're going to import our wings here. I'm just going to pre compose that. So we got our wings, and it does not have transparent background or anything so uh, we are gonna do a quick little trick to fix that we're going to duplicate our wings and the bottom layer set this to luma mat so that basically takes your wings makes them show up on the lighter parts of the image which is itself so we get that and we can kinda see our wings here looks good we just need to add a curves adjustment to the top layer and try to uh, brighten it up so the uh, bright parts are more full, if you get what I'm saying. Um, we also would like this to be um, not symmetrical. Well, yeah, symmetrical, but we want this wing to be exactly like in the center almost. So uh, let me show you. Um, first, let's search up mirror. Uh, first, actually, adjustment layer. Boom. Then place your mirror, and let's place the mirror right in the center. So actually, let's un let's reset this. You can take your number here and just do divide by two, 
Perfect. Does the math for you. All right. So we got this wing rotated, right? So it's a perfect image, but it's still not in the center. So we are going to use transform before the mirror. And basically, we're sliding the left wing to the right, and then the mirror is going to do its magic. So pretty close like that. So I don't want my wings to be too spread out, right, on the back. So we got that. We can... Uh, you know, rotate it a little bit if you want. I'm actually going to start a little lower and actually start it higher like that. Yeah. And position. That looks good. Actually, too high. It's coming off the edge at the top. There we go. We'll start it like that. That looks good. Let's go back to our uh, clip here. And our wings. What is this called? Wings 2. Let's call this wing. All right, so back to our clip here. We're gonna bring out our wings tut, and we got our wings here, cool. And um, if I make this a 3D layer, we should be able to see the wings will be stuck to his back, but they won't be positioned quite right. Um, to make this a little bit more not so flat, uh, let's temporarily turn off the camera shape and the uh, clip. So we just got our wings, but it's still a 3D object, right? Let's search up uh, linear wipe and let's wipe this 50%. So it gets uh, basically cut in half, right? We can feather it a little bit if you want. 15, 20 pixels. Cool. And then now uh, let's duplicate it. Hit R for rotation, rotate it on the Y. So we got two wings, right? Coming out like this. And I kind of want it to be, so 180 would be flat. I want it to come out towards the camera a little bit. So if I bring it back down, maybe 160. So that's 20 degrees off, right? Actually, let's make it 30, so 150. The other wings, we can rotate it 30. So if I go to maybe a custom view, you can kind of see these wings are actually angled a little bit. You see that? So it gives it a little bit more... Uh, more of a depth feel of like these uh, wings are 3D. So that's cool. And we can also, you know, animate these to make it like it's flapping or whatever. But I'm going to keep it how it is for now. Um, also, while we have this, let's also make a new null object. Also make it 3D. And we're going to parent the two wings to this null. So I can take this null now. I can move it. You know, I can... I can rotate everything. It uh, just makes things moving around a lot easier. So this is almost like a rig. So, yeah, cool stuff. Um, one more thing is if I keep the uh, wings, let's go back to active camera. If I keep the wings how it is now, uh, there's going to be a, a, a not bright spot, I guess, from on his back, right? Right here. So we're just going to add a new solid and just pick, uh, I don't know, some kind of bright orange solid and also make this 3d and we are going to draw a shape of how you think his back would be so we can adjust this later but quick little shape like that and feather it so maybe I don't know, 25 35 pixels whatever you think looks good and we're also gonna set all of these layers to add mode so everything adds together. Let's uh, take a look how that looks. That, okay, so it's a little too saturated with the uh, solid. So just maybe uh, desaturated just a little bit. Just so it's like, you know, it's bright, you know? Just so it kind of blends a little bit better. So we can uh, turn the <coughs> tracking camera back on so we can see it here. Um, don't forget to parent your solid to the no object as well. So this is the wings controller, right? So we can scale up the no object to scale up everything at the same time. And we can position this over. So if you export any no objects from Buju, right? It's going to track his back. You can take those positions and then uh, paste it to this no object. Now I, I don't have any uh you know, no objects right now. I should have should have kept it, but we can basically 
you know, kind of rotate it, maybe rotate it up a little bit to try to fit where you think his back would be. So move it to the right, maybe up a little bit. I think it still needs to be rotated this way a little bit. So try to, you know, play around with it. And if we scrub through this, maybe if I get off full res here, scrub through, we can kind of see the wings are tracked to his back. Pretty cool. So you can adjust this. Uh, I don't think it looks... The orientation's off a little bit, so of course, you know, you need to uh, fix that. But that's pretty cool. Um, we can animate the movement of the wings a little bit. If we go back into the pre-composed version of the wings, I can go to, uh, let's say, in the beginning here, Go to the uh, transform, right? Keyframe the rotation, move forward a little bit, and keyframe this down. Let's say, right? Go back to the uh, pre, uh, the main comp or whatever. Wings start up and they start to move down. Now it's a little too much, right? The wings shouldn't be looking like that, but you kind of get the idea, right? So again, just adjust this uh, how you need it adjust the shape of your uh, solid the mass just move it down and uh, to make this a little bit more poppy I guess to make it pop we're gonna add some uh, trap code star glow on the wings and we're gonna use let's see color map let's see I think Mars is a nice nice one and that looks good so we got some nice orange kind of glowing stuff. Uh, let's go to pre-process. This basically just uses, so if I solo this, this uses a specific threshold for what gets uh, glowed, so the very brightest parts or like everything. So I kind of want to do, I don't know, maybe close to everything, but uh, turn down the intensity. So it's a little, a little too much. So star glow intensity, maybe 50. I want to make the streaks longer. Be 40. So, actually, let's change the threshold. I don't know. Play around with it. Get some cool looking uh, streaks, some glow and stuff, right? So, I can copy that star glow to the other one. And we got everything here. And then, just uh, of course, have a nice uh, color correction to make everything pop at the very end. So, you get some nice uh, trap coat shine streaks coming from the top. His back is all bright nice and cool and um, everything looks 3d and like it's uh, tracked to his back like it's real pretty cool stuff now again I don't want you to copy this because uh, yeah just don't do it uh, maybe come up with something on your own you know uh, like I said maybe ice wings or jetpack or something I don't know tentacles whatever make it cool looking um, but just the overall idea, right? You need to have a, uh, a high frame per second uh, cinematic, right? So you need a lot of detail on his back to track it. And then you just treat this as like a, uh, a surface. And then you got a 3D camera. So, yeah, that's pretty much how I did it. Yep, first search result right there. So um, I know tons of people were asking for it. So here it is. Hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to like and favorite. Comment if you have any questions. Hit me up on Facebook and Twitter. All that good stuff. If you got any more uh, tutorial suggestions, let me know. I'm pretty busy, but uh, I'll try to fit you guys in. And yeah, epic tutorial. Uh, that's it. All right, peace.